Big Daddy here. And today, we're going to ask the question, can a KDE user be satisfied on Ubuntu Mate? So, can a KDE user be satisfied on Ubuntu Mate? Well, to answer that question, we have to start at the beginning of the story. And the beginning of the story is that a few weeks ago, over the Christmas holidays and in the last few weeks, I started trying out distros on my main drive instead of my secondary drive. And mainly because of the reputation that they had for being stable, and it snowballed into a few weeks of setting up a system, having something go wrong, setting up a system, having something go wrong, repeat, repeat, repeat. And it was a few weeks of complete frustration of trying to do work on my computer, but actually doing more work trying to fix my computer than anything else. So some of it had did nothing to do with the distros that I tried. Um, one of them being KDE Neon. And it had nothing to do with KDE Neon, but the way my system was right at that moment and the position that I was in, that I, things that I needed to do. So I ended up switching. Now, I got to the point where I was so frustrated that I said, this is ridiculous. I need something stable. Now I have reviewed Ubuntu Mate in the past and it has tons of videos on it. It's nothing new that's come out and that's the whole point. It is known for its stability, known for its speed, known for a lot of things that are complementary. It's simple to install simple to install software. Well, this is exactly what I was looking for. But it also has a lot of settings that allow it to be customized to your liking. And me being a KDE user, appreciate that. May not It may not be up to the amount of settings that KDE has, but it is enough to get by on. So I went and I installed it. The install process went smooth and I'm happy to report that I haven't had one issue since installing it. Not one problem, not one issue. That is awesome. That is something that will put a smile on your face. After going through a few weeks of having issues and problems, you just need things to work. And I'll liken it to the AUR, the Arch User Repository. The Arch User Repository is an awesome feature when you're running Arch. has everything you need in it. But if you can't get to it because you're having system problems, or you can't boot into the operating system, or uh, you're constantly fixing issues, you can't actually enjoy the AUR. It's like having a car in your driveway and not having the keys to it. There's no point in it. That's what Ubuntu Mate brings to the table. Stability. Where it gets out of the way and allows you to do what you need to do. So, for installing software, if you go into the software boutique, there are tons of one-click installs for all kinds of applications. Applications that are not normally one-click installs from Chromium, Google Chrome, NPass, Variety, Wallpaper Changer, uh, all on down the list. It has a ton of applications that I normally use on a daily basis. And it was so nice to be able to install them and not have to uh, add tons of PPAs. I think by the time I was done installing everything I needed 
in the software boutique. I added one or two PPAs, and one of them was for Caden Live to have the most recent version and not the um, version that was in the in Synaptic Package Manager. So I think, all in all, I think I needed one PPA for their software. That is amazing, and that is awesome to be able to get your system up and running in that quick a time period and with that much ease. I have to say, I love it. So then you come to the actual look of the desktop. So Ubuntu Mate has never been mistaken for, say, elementary OS in its elegance. But it is customizable, and it is to the point where there are many beautiful themes out there to where you can make it look the way you want it to look. Uh, I have obviously they put the panel at the top. That's the where that's where I like it. That's where I want it. I use plank, um, so I switched to the Cupertino layout. Um, I do make the panel transparent, which is what I like to have. Uh, the menu itself. Now I've done videos on the risk menu, so I'm not going to go into details here. But one thing I will add is Martin Whippers came out today and said that. Uh, in the future releases, they are going to actually incorporate the brisk menu into the three-tiered menu. So they are going to actually remove the applications flyout and insert the brisk menu. So you'll still have a three-tiered menu, but it will be brisk, places, and system. I think it's a great compromise because the three-tiered menu is a great menu and I really got used to using it. But it does lack the search feature, which the brisk menu brings that to it. So I think it's a great compromise uh, on Ubuntu Mate's part to add it in there. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to be implemented as far as if you're going to... I mean, obviously it's an applet, but I don't know if they're going to have like that applet and the original three-tiered menu applet for you to add. Uh, he didn't elaborate on that, but um, I think it's an exciting feature that's going to be added. So it has the Kaha File Manager, which I am used to Dolphin being a KDE user. I'm used to a lot of settings, but this has enough settings to run and be a great file manager. Um, it is customizable as far as the look. I have removed the main toolbar so that uh, it's a little bit more streamlined. Um, you have your devices in the left panel. You can add bookmarks by just simply going to, let's say here, going to a folder and going into that folder and then clicking bookmarks and add bookmark and there they are. So it has um, in the right click menu, it has open in terminal, open as administrator. Uh, the USB drives, when it when you plug them in, they pop up right away in the devices section. Uh, it also adds a pop-up in the middle of the screen asking you what you want to do. So all in all, it is a good file manager. And I don't think I'm lacking in much by using it. It looks much better in my opinion, but everybody's different. So I'm sure you're going to theme it out differently than I would theme it out. But it just goes to prove that it can look the way you want it to. It can look modern if you want it to look modern. It can look uh, in its normal state uh, with the ambience theme type. It can look that way if that's the way you want it. Options. That's what it's about. Options. Along with stability. So I'm not going to go into any more detail on reviewing it because you've probably seen everything you know about Ubuntu Mate in other videos. But I will say that I am very happy running it right now. That although it is not KDE, which is what I'm used to, it is absolutely awesome to be able to run stable, and still be able to customize. So the question remains, can a KDE user be satisfied on Ubuntu Mate? Well, in the long run, I'm sure that my uh, KDE 
roots will go back at some point. I, I'm not saying I'm leaving KDE forever uh, because I love the work that KDE Neon Jonathan Riddle is doing with Plasma. And I think there's some awesome features coming out in 5.9, so I'm eager to try those. And everybody knows that I love KDE. But can a KDE user be satisfied on Ubuntu Mate? Yes. So until next time, Big Daddy out. <laughs>